Hello YouTube and we're back. Um back to doing FTB insanity. Uh I'm trying to remember where we left off because this has actually been a day for me. Uh, there's a pig man out there, so we've got to go kill him. Yeah. One. There we go. Yeah, we did get a bit of cobble, didn't we? Seems to me whenever like the pack resets or I leave the pack or something like that. Cheat mode always seems to be enabled, it's weird. But it has been 24 hours since I last recorded the last segment. Um, and really what I want to do today is get enough EMC to start making the first few challenges, get them out of the way, and then we can start on actual infrastructure such as the dark room to uh, generate more EMC and uh, we can actually make a fully automated dark room once we get redstone we just need um, to use buildcraft and not a lot of people think about using buildcraft and think oh we must use red power but as a matter of fact as long as you use buildcraft and you use red power deployers you can make a fully automated dark room with red power deployers and transposers which are tick by normal redstone so we'll work on that hopefully during this episode, I don't know what it says. Oh no, we went over a bit last episode, so yeah. S one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do need to fix that as well because um, on my recording, I have the frame rate in the top left, and it's right over the timer, which is pretty annoying when you're trying to pick out times. So, um, hopefully from this we can get a good couple hundred thousand DMC, which will allow us to get, the, as I said, the first two challenges done to get the materials to be able to build an automatic dark room, which we can run. I'm not going to do a manual dark room, there's no point, because that's really boring. Then we'll just look at the challenges and we'll just start building them. Hopefully we can get pretty far. We do need a spider string though. Um, so we're going to have to build a darkened area for uh, spiders to spawn. One, two, three, four. Or we're going to need a sheep because for the first challenge you need to make a scoop and you can you need wool for that. So you either get it from the sheep or you just get it from the from spiders. And also strings useful to have because you need it later down the road as well. Now, um, you might notice some nails on the videos. Um, I'm going to change them dynamically as we progress through the series. So, as we edit the area up top, we're going to have a different area that we're going to look at. And I'm going to take a different shot. If you're wondering how I did it, oh yeah, copied the map and went into creative mode, did a screenshot from there, and then just used editing software just to edit the image until I was happy with it and then I saved it. So um I would do this sort of thing normally with the uh, penguin spawner but if you want to you can oh I forgot that oh, stop that day night idiot. Um oh yeah I did it must have spawned in the ball. Um, you can also do a drop trap version of this, which is where you just have them spawning up high and you got holes in the floor with a cobble and then they walk off into the hole and then fall out. Now, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. um, I'm just going to seal this like this for now. And um, if you're wondering why I put these here, it just makes it easy for them to walk over the uh, the slabs on the other side. That's what the word I was looking for. Um, they're all going to be annoyed at me now. Now the only flaw with this design is there is two spots in this entire tunnel that can spawn, and that's actually inside the portal. So you have to be careful and stay within range of the portal. 
Land nulls, land nulls. So we have lots of these. And we can make some. You need a bit. So what I'm going to make is I'm going to make a few mushroom stews. And then I'm going to make some fence gates as well. And the fence gates are going to come in handy at the doors in a minute. And then let's make these bowls. Make a mushroom stew. We just burn that up. Burn that up. We're going to need food eventually, so let's just put a few eggs. Alright, so let's just turn the sound down because I did turn it back up since the last episode. And I think what I'm going to do is because I'm probably going to be killing these for a while. Um, I might do like a little time lapse thing of me killing these because it's a lot easier. I'm actually going to even turn that down a tad more. But um, the main thing with this is you get through a lot of food and you get through a lot of swords. I mean, you could use an iron sword for a better efficiency, but that's just a waste of two EMC worth of iron. Whereas if you use a stone sword, you do more damage with an iron sword and they last longer, but with a stone sword, you know, it's so much cheaper compared to an iron sword. You know, you'd just be wasting the EMC to kill them just a bit quicker. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is go for a time lapse on this part. Because, I mean, there's, like, I've got to do this a few times in order to gain the EMC I want. So, what I'll do is I'll put all the loose I get on my hot bar so that if you're watching in the time lapse, you can see. Uh, but let's just put this down. Let's mine this out. Change this off. Actually, leave that like that, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's... Actually, let's not convert it to EMC. There you go, they all come now. So, the time that's will begin now. And we're back guys, um, I've just discovered the one problem with this design and that is how long it takes for them to spawn over there. Because like, when I play in 1.5 or 1.4 we have soul shards, so we just kill a few pigmen, make a soul shard, have them drop, use some turtles and the job's done. But in this version of FTB, well in FTB maps we don't have soul shards. So they take forever to spawn, but let's just um, add up the amount of EMC we've gained so far. We got about eighteen thousand, so there's two diamonds right there. Um, and ultimately, into the first two challenges with that, we'll need to set up the dark room. But I think that's probably going to be enough EMC for now. Let's just leave some swords down here. We'll need a bit of food just in case. We get in trouble. Um, maybe a spare pick. Bit of stone, a bit of slab. A spare pick, stone, slab. This is just as just in case, just in case we come back down here and we need it. So we still got our eight thingy. There's nothing we really need to take back up with us except for that transmutation tablet.
There's no way you can drop off now. There we go. We're going to have to come back down with another transportation tablet at a later date and just um, put one back there. Um, it's just so I haven't got the materials to make that. So, another time lapse up the waterfall and we'll be back in a second. Right guys, we're back, and fortunately it looks like our tree hasn't grown, but everything's still here. We have our EMC, so let's quickly make ourselves iron and then some diamond, just to teach the uh, transmutation table. There we go. Now we're going to bridge out to the monument, so let's do that. Um, if you're going to bridge out, you should always bridge out from the bedrock, which just happens to always be here for me because I pay a build a cobble gen. And the reason I build it like that is so that um, when you mine, you mine into the cobblestone. And this is um, good because you're mining into the cobblestone so you can just sit there and hold the bench button down. You don't have a risk of breaking anything else. That's the most annoying part of this is the micro blocks, and you're not meant to break the one you're in, so you can't break it. So, um, if you've never played Free the Beach before, this is the one you're in, and as you can see, my frame rate drops definitely when I go to the back because of the amount of stuff that's happening in there. But along the walls, we have each challenge, and they each have a name, um, like where their story begins, and then they have a light, and then this is a map of the monument and where they are. So where their story begins is on the purple light, which is this one right here. Now let's head up to there. This one is a redstone paradise, which I know is the second one. But where their story begins is the first one. And this is what we need to make. So we need to make a screwdriver, a trans table, an auto crafting table, iron chest, which is the most expensive. Stone bowl, project table, scoop, torch, and jungle wood block. Now, to start this off, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go about 24 blocks away and we're going to build a dark room because we're going to need the materials for the scoop. And I think that's all we need, but it would be nice to have some bowl meal to bowl meal the jungle wood block. Um, I'm going to take a print screen of this and then I'm going to put it up on my second monitor um, I'm going to have to cut the video because it takes me out of full screen and it just messes the recording up so I'm going to cut the video for like one second and we'll be right back there you go, screenshot and we're back and we haven't moved an inch and I have it on my second monitor now so we can navigate back down the monument And start to do what we said. So first things first is I'm going to break this sapling and I'm going to put a jungle one down because if it just grows naturally that's really good. Next I'm going to get some cobblestone and we're going to build that darkened room. Let's get a few more. And we're also going to need some torches to light up the walkway to the darkened room and I think we're going to build it this way. Now normally, a normal approach a normal player would make is make a mob trap. Um, but I'm not going to make a mob trap. Um, just just simply because of the amount of time it takes to build it. And I know you get good gain, but towards the end of the match, you, it just becomes useless pretty much. There's 24 blocks on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7, 12, 7, 12, 15, 15. And a bit more. Let's put some light down on it. We'll make this safer, don't worry. Um, next, let's just build the dark and the room that we're going to build. 5, 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Rain, I know, is annoying, but we have to place for it. I did turn it off before, but I won't. It's only annoying when it hits the ground. It makes a noise. This is another annoying thing. No. Right, cut here, so I'll be right back. Right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about having to cut there. I might have whispered it, but I am. Um, just a uh, possible disturbance, and it didn't actually occur, so that was good. <coughs> but let's just finish this dark room because we've got about 10 minutes of the episode left, and I'd really like to finish the first challenge in the second episode. Um, um, so let's just make this room now. I'm gonna make it too high for now. I don't need any of them. I'm also gonna have to light the outsides up as you can expect. It's gonna drive people crazy if I bring that one up to and I go bring this one up to. How you gonna jump down there? Just do that. Boom 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 boom. Now remember but the point of this is to get like uh sil spider string, sorry and loads of other things from the mobs which we need for the map so now we've just built this, let's just send this out over the top uh, there might be a background noise if there is, I'm sorry I'll cut it out if I can I just gotta get the episode finished as quick as I can <coughs> before I have to do things sorry <coughs> Real life does come first. Do, do, do. Mm. And though some of us don't want it to. <laughs> ah, damn it, I had a couple. I'm gonna put some torches in here before they start spawning. What the, what the, what the, what the? Die, 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 die. Yes, and the pill. Warp. Oh, that's why they're spawning. Please drop string and don't knock me off. Yes, string. That was very lucky. I'll take that. We can finish the actual thing there. And there's a skelly on the roof. Oh. This is getting interesting, but good. Um, let's kill this skeleton. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down, come down. There we go. Yes, bones. We might not even use the dark room anymore. <laughs> we might not even need the dark room. Well, we need the spider, thingy, and creepers. So. Let's seal that up. This is going to say a frenzy walk right in all inch, but I will. Time 54. We can get the first challenge done. By the end of this episode, teach the bone. Bone meal. Let's just start so screwdriver. Screwdriver requires iron. Plus that, uh, and I just lost a sapling. Why is the VMC? Also, I'm going to do some. Uh, I gotta chop that, gotta chop that, gotta, gotta chop that. I just re remembered that you gotta chop these things down as fast as possible, especially with the next lava.
soften that. Well, I'm going to be cutting the video here for a bit and um, gotta go do something, but we'll be right back and we will finish the challenges in time. Hello, YouTube. I've just managed to come back. Um, we forgot to light the roof up, everyone. Well done, us. We'll have to deal with that later. So, where were we? We were making the rewards. One minute. I never got the oh, oh that just annoys me that was. I never taught smooth stone. Taught glass is a few. I just hope I don't get to step again. I'm sorry how choppy the video has been, it's just that I've got things to do in real life and as always real life has to come first over everything else, so Normally I would like no cuts to be in the video, but we don't always get what we want. So let's just teach that. Put that there. Auto crafting table. We put a jungle block in there. So why are you making auto crafting table? It's a crafting bench. Sixteen sticks. Make four gears. And put the gears around the table. This is normally used for um, hooking up to build craft pipes. And if you pump items into it and then pump them out with a wooden pipe, it would automatically craft them items for you. Should we go this way? Yeah, because I need that for from it. I need. Chopping trees is a really good way of making the MC as well. Um, Iron chest, this is where most of the EMC actually goes. 64 iron. Didn't think we had that much EMC, but. Oh well. The one thing I do miss from 1.5 is the drag around feature. That's not performance wise. <laughs> A stone bowl, so we just need 3 stone. You can make them in the shape of a bowl and get a stone bowl, this is normally used for them. Um, Wireless redstone in the crafting recipe. Project table. Now I know I need some stone for that, and I'm going to need a lot more wood. So, first things first is we need to make a chest and a crafting bench. We then combine these to make a project table. And what a project table is, is it's basically a crafting table with an inventory in the bottom. I can show you for a while. Uh, what's it called? Boy. Get rid of it. See, it's just a crafting table with an inventory in the bottom. And if you put, say, the recipe in the top, like sticks, it will actually pull out the bottom inventory to make the recipe and leave the recipe in the top. It just allows you to make four items pretty easily. That's not got an EMC value, though, unfortunately. There's a scoop, which is the reason we went for the string. We have four strings and we can make a piece of wall. Which is needed for scoop. And incidentally on accident I needed sticks and I've made sticks, so that was completely unintentional. And then torches, four torches. Right. I've got four torches on this, so we can just burn all this stuff back up into EMC. Just to store it into the table because it's the safest place to store it. Right, so I'm just gonna take everything out of my infantry. We will go and light that up before the end of this episode, and actually, it is pretty much the end of the episode, but I am going to go over a bit because of the amount of fast forwarding I did, um, because, and also, um, I've got to hand this in and show the reward. So, to hand things in, you come to the monument, and the frame rate will be lower in the monument, sorry, and then just drop your items straight down into the transponder, 
then you need to head to the corresponding tunnel where we got our challenges from so that's all up here and this is remain in time what should happen is the lights will turn on the singular will come down and we got redstone now I'm going to um, torch that place up before we end this episode and next episode we will be working on that dark room and we will get the dark room finished now uh, just a note remember redstone is considered energy and not matter so we have to clear the table out and the best way is just to take a diamond much gold as much thingy as much wood and then just cobble teach it your redstone take that out and just then refill this back up with the EMC and just store the redstone so just for the last thing in this episode we'll just go towards this place up and we've got blocks on it no, I have not, and there's probably mobs inside of there. Uh, let me get some blocks. And all we need to do now is pull up onto here. Yeah, there's zombies in there. And just put torches down all over the top of this building now this building is probably going to end up not being used at all anymore um, but let's just enter it and we'll probably just go torch it up so we've got an ender pearl are we missing any the mobs? I don't think we're missing anything from the mobs except for creepers don't blow up, don't blow up, creeper, don't blow up Crap, crap, crap. I'm gonna die. This is interesting to say the least. The bloody skelly there. Got a piece of iron. Right Now the one thing we was missing was gunpowder, and there we have it. I'm honest, I'm glad no jang made this get this harder, because that that was just I know I needed died in the hole there, but that was because it was in a hole. It was all in that hole, and that was just for safety, by the way. Um, I would have survived that. No, um, so that room is useless now because we've got what we wanted out of it, but. Served its purpose, it's got us a bit of EMC and it's got a spider eyes, which is one thing we didn't have, and it just sticks us into the two diamonds as well. It's also got us gunpowder, which means we can make loads of redstone. So, actually, what I'm gonna do is because um, for the dark room, I have no way to completely change energy into matter. Yeah, I'll I'll do this quickly. What we're gonna do is because I need a lot of energy and there is one way to create energy from matter. And that is to cook wood. So in order to get a Klein Star, which is like an energy battery for ye, we're gonna cook up how much wood can I pull out of here? I don't think I'm going to go that crazy. I think I'm just going to do two half stacks of wood. I've just got two stacks of planks. There we go. Now that's going to cook up, and I think yeah, we're going to end the episode up here. So we've completed our first challenge on the monument. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. If you have, uh, please leave a like to support the series. And I'll see you next time.